Most of us live our lives paying little attention to the elements around us. They make up everything we know. The history of every sunrise, wave, or storm is documented in everlasting energy. But there are some who live in tune with the natural world, nurturing a harmonious connection to the energy within it. But harmony was disrupted long ago when a man named Nahak abused this connection, leaving only one option. Katadon, meaning Great Mountain. My ancestor trapped every single monk into stones. Their souls live on. To this day, they maintain balance in the world. When a worthy heir touches the stone of their ancestor, they are given a fragment of that ancestor's power. It's our job to make sure that that power remains in the right hands. And if Katie's father is truly behind this, we're gonna need some backup. Where does my father fit into this again? I don't know. His name has been on our list for years. Our list? Name? There's a small network of people like us that keep in touch just to make sure everything remains in balance. I'm gonna call my friend Alex. She'll know what to do. Weird. What? She's not answering. Something must be wrong. Nobody could get in here without a student ID. Well, they can't. Mike, isn't that your history teacher? Mr. Tomlins? It's said that Nahak can neutralize powers in others. I think your father's possession of the Katadon blocks my access to its power. So you aren't super strong? Right. I think my body grew accustomed to the strength. I can't move. Well, how did he know where the stone was? I think he accessed my memories when he touched me. Oh no. He knows where the Ate is. What do we do? I don't think there's any way we can defeat him. Gib, what are you doing? Running away? I don't want to end up like Jesse. No offense, Jesse. You can't fight him. Fight him? I'm taking this the opposite direction. Why do you have that? I hid that for protection. Not very well. <laughs> we gotta go. As soon as he realizes it's not in the lab, he's gonna come storming back here.
Mr. Tomlins wasn't even phased by our powers. He looked right at me. Yeah, all I did was fan him like a runway model. Yeah. How are we supposed to fight him if we can't fight him? The Nahak. It's their best chance. So Mr. Tomlins absorbed his power from this stone that's like the ultimate evil in the whole world, and he wants to just take it. Well, I wouldn't say it's the ultimate evil in the whole world, but yeah. Well, what's the plan? Suit up. You mean, like a super suit? Yeah, Gib. Did you bring your Speedo? No. Recon suit. All black. The goal is to blend in. But wouldn't it be easier to sneak around if everyone was distracted? Distractions are incredibly dangerous. We can't ha afford to have one of you fend for yourselves. You all need to go in low profile and together. But Michael could get around so much better without Gib and I being, you know, visible. <laughs> yeah, and Katie and Gib are pretty good at fending for themselves. Three people in three different places fighting different fights. I think our advantage here is that we're a team. A team can attack from multiple places at once. This team? Katie should stick with Michael. And if Gib is willing, a distraction might work. Gib? Yeah. Did you see that? <laughs> oh god. What? Do it again. Just go. Oh. Just go. Yeah. Okay. Hey! Put that out! silent. Where's Michael? He said he was turning off his radio to go into this room. Gib must have been captured. They'll know he's not alone. Looks like your time's up, Katie. <gasps> we gotta go. Versatile. What? 
Where's Gib? I don't know. Can't you, like, track him with his earpiece or something? Well, it's just a radio. Then what are you doing on the computer? Nothing. What's versatile? It's a list of Mr. Tomlin's destinations. When I went to that room, there were some people on computers making travel plans to all these places. He's mapping out places all over the country. All over the world. I haven't heard back from Alex, but my sister lives in Michigan. She says she can come out here. And then what? It can neutralize our powers. We have to do something, Michael. Well, what do we do? We have to keep him from leaving. How? By fighting. I know it didn't work out so well for us the last time, but they had the element of surprise. Maybe this time we can have that benefit. That's stupid. Unless Gib were to burst in with vital information that changed everything. Whew. No, it's cool, guys. I don't, I don't need you to save me or anything. What's the vital information? Tonight. He's leaving tonight. And I know where he's going to be. Start at the beginning. What happened? really important? No. No, no, I told you all the cool stuff is. Fine, I guess we can just... So you said he was gonna meet someone with a subject and a stone? Yeah. So someone with powers? So close to us? Well, Mr. Tomlins is traveling all over the world. Maybe a second team is from somewhere far away. But why meet tonight? Maybe his next mission is a big one. So, if we surprise them and break this person free, maybe they can help us overpower them. They'll have a stone, and if we bring the Ate, we might have a chance. There'll be two teams, though. Well, imagine the strength of someone who understands their powers. What if they breathe fire? <laughs> when are we going to get another chance like this? Mr. Tomlins is leaving tonight. It's our only chance, Michael. I'm not saying it's a good one. Okay. How do you know it's him? I recognize the guy in the driver's seat. This is our last chance, Michael. Let me go. Go! Go! We're here to save you. Hello. What a night. But unfortunately, we're pressed for time. So... Gentlemen! You guys focus on Tomlins. So, you're my dad? Two kids really do know nothing. Go, no, Katie, I'm not your father. You just want to have no problem in killing you. No!
You can't kill us. We're college students. Someone will notice and they'll come after you. Oh, Michael. You seem to forget that I'm your teacher and that I know you and that I know that no one will notice if you just disappear. Why are you doing this? You like superhero movies? I figured you did. So I'm sure you're waiting for the, the big bad guy to reveal his super secret evil plan so that the little teenager could come up with a miraculous plan to save the day. But you know what? I always found that a little bit far-fetched, because how could a little dweeb like you outwit and outpower a grown man? Ordinarily, I'd say something about superpowers being far-fetched. You have nothing. I literally hold your powers in my hand. <laughs> and I'm enjoying myself too much, so humor me. Do you know why you have powers? You planted the Ate in the lab. That's right. I gave them to you. Why? I guess you could say that I was evaluating my investment. You see, I started collecting these stones long ago. And no stone is equal to another one. And I'm a curious guy, so I wanted to know what this one did. Why didn't you just give yourself powers? Because, you idiot, I'm not an heir. Then why go through all the trouble of taking it? Because <laughs> I just wanted to add a weapon to my arsenal. I'd like to stay and chat, but I have to leave. Leave? You can watch helplessly as I drive away, and you'll never be invisible again. Because <laughs> that is torture. Killing you wouldn't be that fun. Jesse! Wish I could say the same for you. <laughs>